Hey, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're covering solar pre-wire, an essential part of this complete van build. Let's get to work. The parts we need for this step are going to be our solar cable. So this solar cable comes pre-wired with an MC4 connection on it. Now that MC4 connection is an exterior weatherproof connection that's pretty much standard on every solar panel out there. We're also going to want a GoPower solar entry gland. You can use another entry gland out there. I found this one to be the best. Uh, it screws down so it's not relying just on glue. Has some nice uh, rubber grommets here that are gonna keep our van watertight and is generally the best one that I've found. All of these products are going to be available in the description below. So the first step to getting our setup prepped is going to be feed our wires into our entry gland. So make sure these nuts are loose so that they're not compressing around the housing and then just go ahead and feed the wires in. Doesn't matter what color goes on what side right now. Uh, we're just gonna get these in here. So once they're started inside, we can go here and just pull them in. And if you're having a little bit of trouble, you can use some of this spray silicone and that's gonna lube things up and make it a little bit easier to pull these in to the van. So as we're pulling these in, I like to leave about three feet or so outside of this gland. It just makes wiring up on the roof that much easier. Um, you know, I found that if I bring them all the way down here, I need like another little jumper cable or something like that, and it's just unnecessary. So, you know, leave about three feet off of there, and then we can just zip tie that stuff up on the roof to our roof rack. So now we're gonna tighten these down, make sure we have a nice solid connection around our wires, and I'll go ahead and grab a wrench to finish that job right. Now, since we did spray some of this spray silicone around this area, uh, we wanna make sure we degrease and get rid of all of that. So we're just gonna use some isopropyl alcohol and we're gonna prep this plate on the bottom as well as the top because that silicone is going to fight our adhesives and our sealants and we could get a possible leak in the future. With our part degreased, let's go ahead and add butyl around the perimeter of the bracket. In addition to the complete perimeter, let's just make sure we get little sections around those screw holes. The last step before we jump up on the roof and install this unit is going to be to loom these wires to protect them as they come through the top of the van. We're inside the van and it's time to talk about entry placement. So here at ABC, I like to mount my entry gland here on the roof, just past this middle C pillar rib. Uh, and that's because in this van, we're gonna be putting a fan in the front center. And then that fan is going to be flanked by solar panels on both sides. So when you use our ABC roof rack, there's enough room side to side just put two 100 watt panels next to your fan. That keeps all those utilities at the front of the vehicle and leaves the back open for a deck, more storage, or more solar, whatever you need. To locate our entry gland, we wanna be behind the C-pillar rib, and because my power is going to be on my passenger side, I'm gonna put it here on the passenger side. Now, we wanna orient this entry gland with this towards the front of the vehicle, which means our wires are gonna come out at the front half here. So, if I hold it up inside, I would say somewhere along this, right here is a good place to have my entry. Now I wanna make sure all these sections are nice and flat on the roof. So I don't wanna hit this support channel if I don't have to. So if we push here to the center a little bit more, that's gonna be a perfect place for our solar to come into the van. Another reason I like to go behind this C-pillar roof support is our pre-wires are all going to enter the walls at this location here. So I don't have to try and pass under a rib between my ceiling and these ribs in order to get my solar to this wall and then down to my power station below. Now that we know the point of our entry for our solar wire, we're gonna go ahead and pop a one and three eighths hole in the roof. Viola, just like in our van prep video, anytime we put a hole in our metal of our van, go ahead and make sure we prime that opening. All right, up on the roof here, we're just gonna go ahead and degrease our area with some isopropyl alcohol. We're going to grab our knockout bushing insert and insert in that hole, making sure we protect our wires from the metal there. We can start feeding the wires through the hole and it helps to have a friend inside. Thank you, Ian. All right, hold up there. Then, gonna make sure we position this over the top of our knockout bushing nicely. Make sure our butyl is all in place. And that looks good. Then we're just gonna add four screws to the corners and secure the entry gland. And 
inspect everywhere. Looks good. And move our wires out of the way and complete the install with our Dicor lap sealant. And as any time we're putting down lap sealant, we're gonna go ahead and let this settle out for about 24 hours. We can come back tomorrow, make sure we don't need to add any more where it might be a little thin. If adding solar panels to your build is not in your immediate future, go ahead and zip tie these up and add a sticky zip tie on the roof so that you can keep them from flapping around in the wind. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button so others can find it. And you can support the channel by hitting subscribe. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Gloopy goodness.